This should not be granted tenure. Arguing for the pro, we have Brian Montesinos, and arguing for the con, we have Gobi Dasu. Uh, Okay, so now we will um, start off with a uh, six-minute opening speech for the show. Um, okay, uh, my name is Brian Montesinos, freshman at Redwood High School, chapter president, started chapter this year. It's my first time debating, so pretty nervous, but you know, there you go. Um, <laughs> so, uh, believe it or not, teachers can get away with about everything in the public school system. Anything. How about molesting school children? <laughs> That's what teacher unions in states like California and New York are doing, coddling accused criminals. At the beginning of his 32-year career in Queens, Francisco Olivares allegedly impregnated a 16-year-old girl he had met with he had met when she was a 13-year-old student at his Corona Junior High School. Um, a decade later, he molested two 12-year-old pupils and another student four years after that. The City Department of Education charged, but none of it kept Oliver, 60 years of age, from collecting his $94,000 salary. He hasn't set foot in a classroom in around seven years now. He sits in something called a rubber room, where he um, where he basically gets paid for doing nothing. He just sits there all day, and he pay and he plays crossword puzzles, drinks coffee. I don't know. He doesn't do anything, and he still gets paid ninety-four thousand dollars a year from the taxpayers for that. Um, the reason he wasn't fired was because of state laws and union rules. When you can't fire government workers, you're stuck with lazy dopes sucking away tax dollars in the form of their large salaries and benefits. And in many cases, they have well-funded retirement packages for years of incompetence, thievery, uh, or worse. I quote, um, in California, accused teachers are paid to stay at home. And just the Los Angeles Unified School District alone, the cost of these teachers sitting on their hands is helping drive the state into bankruptcy. About 106 teachers and other staff sit idly in buildings scattered around the sprawling district, waiting for allegations of misconduct to be resolved. The Howes are accused, among other things, of sexual contact with students, harassment, theft, or drug possession, nearly all being paid. All told, they collect about $10 million in salaries a year, even as the district is contemplating widespread layoffs of teachers because of financial shortfall. This is reported by uh, BigJournalism.com. Now, my opponent may say that these teachers were only accused. They may not be guilty. And it's true, some of them are probably just as innocent as the next guy. But in such cases, such as Oliver's, there are clear facts that suggest the molestation of the two girls and a list of five victims who have pleaded rape. These girls have to live with the idea that, you know, that this man took advantage of them. And they were defenseless against this evil guy, and yet they are, in a way, pain for him to, to live. He still gets his salary. Um, the teacher is defined as an instructor of grades K through 12 in the public education, education school system. Dictionary.com defines teacher as the right to, defines tenure as the right to permanent employment until, retire, until retirement. Tenure started off as a, a noble motive for non-working related reasons. reasons. Teachers could be dismissed if a new political party took power, for example, or if the principal wanted to, to hire his friends and he could just fire the teachers. And calls for these special protections for teachers coincided with the women's suffrage and the labor movement in the 19th century. But times started changing and these things of, of political party and all that, just, they're things of the past now. So. Um, just like slavery was a thing of the past and prejudice against Native Americans were a thing of the past, people have gotten over this thing, so tenure shouldn't be needed anymore. Um, it's, so tenure should no longer be given because it makes difficult. It makes it difficult to remove underperforming teachers. Um, it removes incentives for teachers to put in more than the minimum effort. 
and to focus on improving their teaching. And it makes it costly and at times impossible to remove a teacher who has been accused or is guilty of wrongdoing. Miss Rays was a teacher at Darwin High School. Her class was underperforming. She taught in a neighborhood slum and never pushed her students to learn. She showed up to work late every day and played movies in her class instead of teaching and took naps while watching the, while the kids were watching the movies. Um, her students were half of them were failing the class, while the other half didn't even show up to class. And a study was done on June 1st, 2009, that by the New Teacher Project, and it found that 81% of school administrators knew a poorly performing a poorly performing tenure teacher at their school. However, 86% of administrators say they do not always pursue dismissal of teachers because of the costly and time-consuming process. Theoretically, Ms. Reyes can be fired, but it can take up to 335 days in Michigan, and that's before the courts get involved. The process is so demanding because by the principal the process is so demanding because it involves months of legal wrangling by the principal, the school board, the unions, and the courts. The principal doesn't have time for her to fire Ms. Ray, so even though she's a crappy teacher, she continues to earn $75,000 a year for just showing up. When a, teacher's, when a teacher's granted tenure, they have a job for life, no matter how bad they are, their students' grades are. No matter the situation, they will take that job forever unless actions are taken against them by the school board, which as previously stated can be very time consuming and most people don't even waste their time doing it. Um, just to sum up, um, let's pretend that for a moment tenure was abolished. And let's say the principal of my school, Redwood High School, wanted to fire a teacher named Miss Silkworth. History teacher, bad teacher. <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, instead of the principal having go, to go through months of this complicated paperwork to get her fired, you can just send in a letter to the superintendent um, asking for her resignation because of uh, poor test grades or because of bad teaching skills. And uh, I have time apparently. Your 30 seconds over. Uh, you can't expect uh, main speakers. You can't do that for main speaker. Uh, the chair. No time.